thing. Oh, Did you rub your pregnant ex girl's stomach? God dang it, Corinna! Time to clock in. Alright, so you missed this. <laughs> so you can't have him anymore. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <Wow. laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. Listen, here's the deal. Today is a very special day with a very special guest, but I don't want to talk about that just yet. What I want to talk about first is something a little bit more important. The first ever dog of the new clout how, whatever the fuck you want to call this fucking place that we live in. We are super excited to show you guys. Get a drum roll, little drum roll please. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's Broly. It was Logan Paul's dog. I don't exactly know why he's our dog. Okay, I do know. There was this very dramatic moment. Danny stuck Broly right in the middle. Logan was on one side of the yard. David was on the other side of the yard. Broly looked this way at Logan. He looked that way at David. He didn't know what he wanted to do. His stupid little half Pomeranian, half Husky brain was gonna fucking explode. I don't know, I think David might have had like a piece of bacon in his pocket or something, but he ran to fucking David, bro. <laughs> now we own Broly. Logan went off to Puerto Rico and we got stuck with this little shit. Say hi to the night shift audience, your new, your new audience. <laughs> Anyways, huge yard for him to play in out here. He's got a yard, he's got his own lake. He's got a chess board if he's ever able to figure out how that works. So yeah, we're super excited to have Broly here with us. All right, but actually on today's episode, it's a bit of a weird one, guys. As you know, the relationship with my ex-girlfriend kind of continues to trickle on. And that's the thing about people that come and go on this channel. They come, but they never really go. You got Logan, you got Amar Maple. They're like family members, they're friends, whatever you want to call them. So of course they're going to continue to appear in the content. That said, I haven't really been spending that much time with Amar lately obviously she has a little bit of a situation not my kid as i've said in the past so yeah we're still friends but honestly hanging out with her the situation is a little bit strange but she hit me up and she's like yo i am going to the humane society today to rescue a duck would you want to come with me drive the car blah blah because blah, i'm pregnant and all and i was like fuck it whatever you haven't had you on an episode in a while the audience fucking loves you so we're gonna do it <laughs> i don't even look pregnant my so I'm three months pregnant right now. I've gained 15 pounds, but I don't think any of this is like. Hi, right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with Amber Maple or Lana Rhodes, depending on No, Michael. All right, we're here with just Amber Maple from Three Girls, One Kitchen. Soon to be a new podcast. Tell us more about your new podcast. It's going to be called The Brain Bus with Lana Rhodes. I bought a red. The what? <laughs> the what? The Brain Bus? Okay. That so, sounds like something else. No. It, you know it sounds wait, like wait, wait, you walk in you get head. No, that's Brain not. Yes, no, that's what I said. No. And now a word from our sponsors. Vegas is a hard city. You roll the dice, 10, the hard way. Over on the blackjack tables, you hit your soft 17s until they're hard too. This city goes harder and longer than just about any other city on earth. And if you need a little bit of help going harder and longer in the bedroom, check out Blue Chew. It's the ace up your sleeve. So yeah, do yourself a favor and stack your deck by going to the link in the description below and use code NIGHTSHIFT for a one month free trial. And let's get back to the night shift, baby. <laughs> Oh, she's sick. You seem yeah, to be sick. Yeah, also. guess guess who got me sick? Michael, because he came over to my house. He was crying because he wanted to get back together. <laughs> and he, tried, he tried making out with me, and I told him no. And we made contact. He got me sick. He's horrible. <laughs> we made contact. She said, "What are we aliens?" <laughs> Do you know if it's a girl or a boy yet? I am having a baby, Michael Maylock. Well, no, you're not. That's not true. <laughs> I'm having a boy. I just found out two days ago. The internet's been terrible, terrible about this. I think if you're out there and you're watching this, you made a gross comment about someone's happiness and pregnancy and something that makes them happy, you're a fucking scumbag and a piece of shit. Um, I've had a few personal things that have happened since then that I find to be a lot more terrible than the comments on the internet. So it sort of distracted me from that. However, I've seen, did you see Riley got married? Yes. And so there's TikToks about her too. And all the comments are, how could this guy marry her? And yeah, it's fucking horrible. She doesn't deserve that. So I think it's kids. I think the internet's like full of kids. And I think they don't know how to have empathy. They don't know how to respect other people. They don't know how to do that stuff because they've never learned it. You know what I'm saying? And so I think it comes down to the fact that the internet's a young audience, but last question, because this isn't a podcast, I don't know how much this we're actually gonna use. What the fuck are we doing right now? We're going to an animal rescue center in Panoma. Panoma, am I saying that right? We're going to Pomona, California. Panoma. 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 I think Pomona. it's Pomona. Okay. Pomona. We're going somewhere in California right now to a shelter and I'm rescuing a duck. His name is going to be Aflac and he's going to make me very happy. And I'm going to make him very happy. Whoa. Pause. What? For a friendship situation, this is unacceptable. Michael. That you're overcrossing Michael, the boundaries you of our friendship. You don't get any 
pussy, period. David yeah. said that he gets David, more pussy than you. David has a girlfriend. Yeah, he's definitely getting laid more often than you. Yeah, he has a girlfriend. Okay. Whoever has a girlfriend, if you're watching this, congrats. You're getting you probably, pussy all the you time. You probably get laid like once every two weeks. Except blowjobs from other girls, and the only person he'll have sex with is his ex-girlfriend because he's in love with me. That's close. The end part, it's no, the but it's closer. It's but yes, true. I don't have a lot of sex because I only like to get ahead. That's it. With me, you wanted to fuck me all the time. Yeah, because I was dating you. And who yeah, wouldn't want to fuck you all the time? Me. But now you're pregnant with another you man's child. So how am I supposed to fuck? And you still want to fuck No, I don't. <laughs> I will show text messages. I swear to fucking God. That's not true. I'm pretty sure I have some contradicting messages. I know that there are a few where you're like talking about sucking on these big tits. <laughs> <laughs> He's so shy. Dude, she got a fucking duck, dude. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Can I play with the dogs? No, I have two brothers and sisters coming for him, but they're gonna be babies. Ducks grow up in a matter of 30 days, so we'll be adults in 30 days. I've been alive for 36 years and I still haven't grown up. Oh, trust me, I'm well aware. <laughs> Is he not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? What the fuck is going on right now, man? You're a duck living in your new duck house. It's all you, buddy. This is your whole yard. You can play, you can do whatever you want. What the fuck do ducks even do, bro? <laughs> does it have a job? Like, does it have like a specific thing it has to do? Come on, buddy. Look. Look fresh water to play in. I like when he wags his tail. It's so cute. I think he's really thirsty. He's going like this. I should hire Mike as the full-time water boy for Affleck. He can be like Adam Sandler in that movie. Dudes on Night Shift keep dropping, it might just happen to be honestly. <laughs> what are we doing back here? All right, Corinna wanted to look in the mirror really quickly. I'm gonna tell you guys this really quick. Actually, Corinna, Katie, do you mind? Hold on. There's Corinna, like shit in this toilet. Don't worry about that. Corinna, there is shit in the toilet. Corinna has been very, a bit nervous about this episode of the Night Shift. She's also not <laughs> nervous in front of being in front of people. We're gonna blur that out. <laughs> Corinne has been very nervous about this episode of Impulsive, okay? My underwear is like in my vagina. Still. Yeah, maybe we actually will leave. <laughs> Have a good urine. Hey, where's the toilet paper? Okay, okay bye. Hold on, sorry. Okay, it, it has a weak flush. Just but talk to me like while you're out there. I just want to let you know that no matter what happens, you're you're fucking awesome. You're awesome. I feel the same way as you, and if you need comfort, look into my eyes. Right now. Okay, bye. Hey, today's been a long day for me. I spent the entire day with my ex-girlfriend. Again? Yeah, you couldn't get it. <laughs> wow. Wait, when did you get here? I'm the new third host of the show. You hear that, guys? Impulsive's going to the moon. <laughs> All right, guys, so Corinna Kopp is our guest on today's episode of Impulsive. Wait, is this, what is this for? It doesn't matter. It's just a bad thing. Is this your, like, toast show? <laughs> and fuck this show. Wait, is it? Wait, is it? Uh, yes. <laughs> I forget, what it, I forgot what it was called, so it I called matter. it. It doesn't matter. And by the way, it's not a, that doesn't even insult or upset me. It's the toast show. Welcome back to the toast show, guys. Make sure your toast is buttery Wait, out there. What is it called? I forget. The, the night, night shift. The night shift. Yeah. Sorry, the, the night shift. Clock in, tuna. Hey, at least I remembered like Clock a key. Clock in, tuna. <laughs> like, I remembered a key opponent. I remembered a key opponent to the, the show. That's a key good. opponent? I believe the word uh, you're looking for is component. <laughs> guys, listen. Corinna Kopp, one of our favorite people in the entire world, uh, on the episode following Aiden Ross's episode. Strange. No. Uh, yep. Oh, it's okay. I don't want to be following that. Oh, yeah, she wants to be first. All right. On the episode preceding Aiden Ross's episode, <laughs> Corinna Cop. Oh, it's what, it's what she requested. Wait, really? Yep. How badly? <laughs> He's been asking me to come on the show. Right. I will walk away right now. But so hey, hey, she, she like will. So. Over a year. Wait, so you you really want to be the July sixth episode? I just don't want to film an episode and then have to just think about it. Like I want it to yeah, be. Yeah, got it. Got it. I like that. I like I that. that. Okay, it hangs fine. over my head. That's fine. We'll just get with Caleb and we'll make sure the sponsors are appropriately moved. Well, uh, that's it for Ex Girlfriend's Day here <laughs> on Impulsive, and that's also it for today's episode of the Night Shift. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. We're clocking the fuck out. Peace. A little dick. If you're watching this episode of the Night Shift and you saw the story on Impulsive about the man I caught jerking off oh in God. the park, it was right there. Are you kidding? Yeah, it was right there. We're going to Pano Pomoma. <laughs> We're going to Pomoma. All right, you can cut on that. Get out of here. I love you. <laughs>